Hello programmer, today in this tutorial, we will upload our web page into an online server aka web hosting so that our web page will be available over the internet. Now I will begin this tutorial by assuming that you have a web hosting. So first of all, open your cPanel. But you have to remember that the structure of your cPanel may not be similar to the structure of my cPanel. And that's fine. Then go to file manager. Select public HTML and in this public HTML folder, you can upload your web page. But for this tutorial, I'm gonna upload my web page into my subdomain, which is coding.codeandcourse.com. Now, in that folder, I wanna upload a code of this page. So I just click upload, select the file. And here is my file. After that, if your web page or website need a database, then you have to go to database section and go to MySQL database widget. Give a name to your database. Then create a database user and password. Then tick on all privilege. Now we have successfully created a database and a database user. Now our next step is upload a database in this database. So you have to go to phpMyAdmin. Then select a recently created database which is this. Click import. Choose a database file. Click on go and here you can see a table within a database is created and in this table we have some data which I want to show in our online web page. Up to here we have uploaded our web page and created our database. Now the last thing we can do is make our connection between our web page and our database. So go to file manager. Then open a recently uploaded file. Now we have to edit this section. Instead of root, we have to give a database username. This is our database username. So I'm gonna copy this and paste it here. Then a database password. After that, database name. At last, save this and close this. Now, if I go to my URL, coding.codeandcourse.com slash table.php. Now you can see this web page is on the internet and this is how we make our web page or website online over the internet. So if you found this video helpful then like and share this video and also subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any future video from my channel.